Volvo's second generation XC90 is a 7 seat luxury SUV that's already given key rivals like Audi's Q7 and the Land Rover Discovery a lot to think about. Safe, efficient, clever, practical and stylish, this car continues to position the Swedish maker as a credibly prestigious automotive brand. Now this car is better still thanks to the introduction of mild hybrid engine tech. In line with its increasing emphasis on powertrain electrification, Volvo's introduced mild hybrid B5 petrol and diesel variants into the XC90 range. Most buyers will prefer the 235 horsepower diesel unit over the 250 horsepower petrol version, but either way, the drivetrain setup is the same, based around a 48 volt battery, a Kurs kinetic energy recovery system, and an ISG integrated starter generator. Every time you brake or take your foot from the throttle, the Kurs setup captures surplus energy and stores it as electricity in an extra battery provided in the boot. That additional electricity can be used to boost acceleration, help the stop start system or power auxiliary functions. The objective here wasn't to provide Prius-like periods of electric only driving, but instead make the engine more efficient via smoother transitions between driving, cruising and resting. That's all been aided by revisions to the automatic gearbox and the implementation of the brand's first brake-by-wire system. And it works, especially in terms of running cost efficiency, which is significantly better than you get with obvious rivals. A B5 diesel is capable of a WLTP rated combined cycle fuel figure of up to 44.1 mpg and an NEDC rated CO2 return of up to 154 grams per kilometre all without any need to plug in. Of course, you might want to plug your XC90 in. That's what you'll be regularly doing if you opt for the alternative T8 twin engine variant we're trying here with its petrol electric powertrain and plug-in hybrid usability. Here, a 303 horsepower turbocharged supercharged petrol engine drives the front wheels while an 87 horsepower electric motor propels those at the back, powered by a battery pack neatly packaged away in the transmission tunnel. As part of the changes made to this revised XC90 lineup, that lithium ion battery is now slightly larger than before, hence a useful boost in this T8 model's operating range from 22 to 29 miles, though charging times are slightly longer too. Otherwise, things are much as before. The brand continues to offer a minority interest, non-electrified 310 horsepower T6 petrol model. And as before, across the range, there's the option of an active 4C chassis package, which gives you four corner adaptive dampers and electronic air suspension. Handling strikes a good balance between comfort and agility. Cruising refinement meets the required executive standard. And there's the potential for a mild amount of off-road prowess. A standard pilot assist system offers a degree of highway orientated autonomous driving technology and you might be interested to know that conventional variants can now tow up to 2,700 kilos. No significant changes have been made to the look of this second generation XC90. None were really necessary thanks to styling that designer Anders Gunnarsson describes as timeless, which is important given the long production life planned for this Mark II model. The shape, though substantial, is cleverly proportioned to look as compact as possible. So many large luxury SUVs appear bulky and intimidating. This isn't one of them. We liked the front of cabin experience served up by this XC90 when we first tested it back in 2015, and we still do. This interior is simple, elegant and very uncluttered, with only eight buttons on the fascia. The remaining functions you'd normally access through confusing rows of little switches on the dash have been relocated into menu options that lie behind the big, easy-to-use icons you'll find on a smart 9-inch infotainment colour touchscreen that's presented portrait style on the centre console. You'll glimpse more high-tech screen technology through the three-spoke wheel courtesy of Volvo's 12.3-inch active TFT crystal driver's information display. Otherwise, though, this cabin's an aesthetic triumph, immaculately made and full of premium touches like this diamond-cut start-stop control switch and the slatted cover for this centre dash compartment.
As for the boot space on offer, well, that's fallen slightly with the introduction of the mild hybrid powertrain, but it's still very class competitive. Inevitably, capacity is going to be a little restricted with all seven seats in place, though even in this configuration, you still get 302 litres of luggage space. Volvo seems to be flourishing under foreign ownership. You might have expected Chinese control to stifle the company's Scandinavian character. Instead, what we've been given here is a return to Swedish charisma and an emphasis on the cool, restrained style and real-world practicality epitomised by the Gothenburg brand. Of course, this Volvo's not perfect. There are still sharper handling choices and more capable off-roaders in this sector. In balancing its own blend of virtues, though, this XC90 sets its own class standard and in doing so establishes a family benchmark amongst luxury SUVs that rivals struggle to match. Company founders Asar Gabrielson and Gustav Larsson would have liked this car. More importantly, though, if you're shopping in this segment, we think you will too.